it's Tuffalolo and I want to show you my new hairstyle. <gasps> Just kidding. And I'm here to do a tutorial and review of this um, hair tool and I am going to be showing you a way how to do this hair style, bob hair, short hair, whatever you want to call it, with no bobby pins. Um, I wanted to do like a curly style of bob instead of just a straight bob, so it's going to look like this after I um, get going, so let's start. Here it is, that's what it is. Okay, I can see it better now. It's just like rubbery here in the middle, so it being rubber, it grips your hair pretty well and it has the clip right here like you know the hair extension kind of clip and it just snaps like that so I'll be telling you how to do this um, it comes in two sizes, a small or a large I got the large because I have long hair um, and I think you can work better with the large but you can get a small so this is what the package looks like it's called smart cute and you pretty much um, clip it to the tip of the hair and you start rolling it up Clip it to your skull if you have short hair, from long hair to short hair. The characters are so cute, like that, long to bob. And as you can see, you could do other hairstyle. Um, I can show you the other hairstyles later on, I'll do another video separately. And let me just show you what it is. If you could read Japanese, here it is. And you just clip to the tip and then just roll it up, tuck it in, clip it to your skull. You know, yeah, and that's it. So I'm gonna be showing you how I do it. You can do this with um, straight hair and stuff, but like I said, I want it like a curly look. So here it is. I kind of teased it already, and yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. And here it is. It's very flexible. So what I would do is I would have the long side uh, to the bottom, and clipping the open part facing outwards. So it'll be like this. So you see this part right here? Make sure you, the open part clips on the outside like that and then roll it. Okay, so yeah. And I'm just going to gather my hair like so. I'm gonna slide this all the way to like almost to the tip of my hair and then start rolling it in. So tie everything. Put your hair through it. Make sure you spread it throughout here. Roll it out. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it out. Until you get about that much. Now you just roll it in. You keep rolling. And then you just kind of tuck it in inside and clip it onto your scalp. Here it is. Now I have like short hair without really cutting it because sometimes I cut my hair and then I feel like, oh, what did I just do? So, so by doing this, I don't have to use bobby pins or any of that and it just looks like that. And you just go ahead and fix it up. Okay, so I did a really short, but you can um, change the length and everything. The more you roll, the shorter your hair goes up. So if you want your shorter length, probably roll it once or twice. You know, it just all takes time to experiment. Overall, I really like it. It's really quick and easy and fast. Instead of tying your hair and tuck it in, bobby pins, bobby pins, bobby pins. I mean, it is hard if you just start using it. But it does take practice. Everything takes practice. So yeah, you'll get into a hang of it and you'll get really, really nice hair. I mean, if you want to fix some certain part, you can always use bobby pin because I feel like if someone's doing it for you, um, it's much easier than you trying to do it yourself, especially if you have over the shoulder length hair like me because you can't really stretch back too far. So yeah, it's just hard for me. But um... You know, just keep practicing and you'll 
eventually get the perfect bob, I guess. And it's instant, it's quicker than bobby pins. And yeah. And like I said, if you want to fix a little bit, you can use one or two bobby pins, but it's, you know, it saves so much time. It's kind of hard to take it out because of the rubber. So really be patient. And I must say the first try is not going to be your best. It's going to be your worst, I think, at least for me. It does take practice to really um, perfect this. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if there's any questions, just comment below. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.